Welcome back to Talus Principle 2. I'm Dear Darling, and why are we here? What truth awaits us? Why don't we answer more of these questions together? Um, where we last time... I don't remember exactly what we're doing. Are we just... We're just solving more puzzles? Precision. Have we done this one? We haven't done this one. All right. Um, and we are in the world, which is basically the accumulation of everything um, together. Well, actually, if anything, it's kind of a world of moving things using a fan, but um, it, it is theoretically, I think it's meant to be at least, uh, the culmination of all the mechanics we've learned thus far. Um, okay, I'm not really sure what... Oh, interesting. Um, so powering is... What are we trying to do? I'm trying to get that open? It kind of looks like we should just, like, do this. I don't know if this will work, but... Alright. <laughs> that, that, that's way too easy a level. That is... What? There's no way. Why is that level so easy? Or... I guess it's meant to... Precision. It feels like there's meant to be a red herring here, which I didn't fall for. But is it a human scale, or is it well, maybe this is a breaking level? It can only alienate mm. us. Humans I'm not sure. have always been happiest in small communities. Small always? Town paranoia, isolationism, <laughs> and peasant mentality. Great for burning witches. Not oh my word! Now they'll go off. Freedom. Ever the pessimist. <laughs> Uh, so Mansi always been happy in smaller communities? I think it's probably very dependent on the community and the person. But, okay, Trevor End. The end of Trevor. It's people like Trevor, as much as it is people like Alexandra, who make the future happen. People with silly names like Trev who aren't famous, who aren't geniuses, who aren't driven by a powerful vision of a future. Ordinary people whose work and sacrifice isn't even acknowledged or remembered. I will remember you, Trevor. You two held a world on your shoulders. Thank you. That's actually a very beautiful sentiment. Um, building into this Id ideation, I suppose, of society being built together rather than by a single person, right? Of course, with Alexandra, I suppose, mirroring Athena and this society. Well, kind of. Archive message. Dear Founder, Byron and I used to go to the hills above a dam and observe the stars with a telescope that I built. When I saw the stars like that, I felt such awe. And I wish we had the ability to cry. I felt wonder, but I also felt recognition. I was seeing my home. The sea of stars is where we came from, and is where we must return. I had so much hope, then. I knew one day we would set sail. We'd fly through the clouds of a nebulae. We'd cruise across planets where it rains di diamonds. And we'd follow the fading light of distant supernovas until at last... We met our brothers and sisters of the cosmos. <laughs> I can feel that day coming. I can't anymore. I don't know how to live this way. Draconius. Oh. Actually quite a heartbreaking message, isn't it? In memory still bright. I lived with Sarabai for nearly a century. I would not pretend that all those days were good. Some were terrible. She was opinionated. She could be difficult. She could be unfair, and so could I. Sometimes we hurt each other, though we rarely meant to. But most days were good. And some days were great. A great day with Sarabai made you feel different. It made you feel like something had been revealed to you about the nature of the universe itself. Some innate goodness at the heart of all things. Like Nadia Sarabai, whose name she adopted. She believed in the existence of something sublime beyond the material world. I hope she was right. I hope she's still somewhere. I hope she's not trapped in that broken body I tried so hard to repair. I was advised to let her go. To get over my attachment. I tried. But it was a wrong advice. Love is what makes us human. And we should count ourselves blessed that we can experience it. My attachment is what kept me sane. What anchored me to this world. Even in death. She saved my life. I am grateful for the days that we got, but no amount of days would have been enough. Love is not finite, and it is infinity that we must strive. I will do so for all of you who may still find love in honor of Sarabai. Hypatia. If 
If I had been more careful, near Alexandria would never have happened, and Sarabai would still be alive. That's... You can't put that weight on yourself, Athena, but I understand why you do. So heartbreaking. Everybody's gone. All twelve are Trevor's locks. She's upstairs somewhere. I haven't talked to her in days. The only it's reason why I know she's still alive is uh, she's submitting bug fixes. I still have a lot to do myself. I've is this secret got the, <coughs> the tertiary backup thing working. This is the one that's really gonna last if everything else breaks. And you know what? I think everything else might. The MLA still giving Too me all these away. hiccups. Hmm. But we'll go look. I don't know. I'm not a software guy. All the software guys, yeah, they're dead. Uh, God, these <laughs> these time capsules went a bit sideways, didn't they? Aww. I was gonna tell you all about myself, and John Carpenter, and all that stuff, but mostly I just told you about Alex. Have we done this one? I wonder if I should just. I I, I should just. <gasps> Trevor. Tell you, you know, just. It's the end of a world. What else are you gonna do, man? Oh. Maybe later. I gotta finish this first. That's some good voice acting, I must say. Oh, this is Lipper Yes, we've done this. Where's this question mark I'm trying to get to? It's over here. I don't actually know if there's a secret level or not, but... Oh, we have, we have a message from who? In memory still bright. I would like to thank Guan Caper who are covering all of Trevor's recordings. It's clear they meant a lot to Athena, and they should mean a lot to us too. He is as much our progenitor as Alexander Drennan was, and we should not forget him. It's all our love story in the end, all of human history. Even when people die, or never even have a chance to get to know each other. Love is the only thing that survives the abyss of time. Without the love Trevor felt for Alexandra, without the love Alexandra felt for us, none of us would be here, and none of it would matter. Thank you, 1K. As tragic as this story is, it gives me hope. And who knows? Perhaps she loved him too, or could have. But we may never know the answer to that. What, a tragic love story that may never have been. Is there anything more tragic than what could have been? Well, probably, but still. This looks like a secret level. How do we get down there safely? Um, this is also a huge secret level, might I add. Like, you get to go. It's taken up such an expansive space compared to the others. Um, whoa, okay. I don't know how we're going to get back up safely, but that's Future Bee's problem. But now, currently, has a puzzle to solve. Uh, what's this one called? Alternator, okay. Right, so this just goes up and down. Okay. No, hold on, I need to think about this. It's very clear that what we want to do is be able to block off some of the laser. I just need to figure out which way round it makes most sense to do so. Ah, we want them to block off each... Not each other like that. We want them to block off... How, how do we want them to block off? We want this to be on. When this comes up, it will turn it off. And it will allow this one to activate. But how do we get the blue one to activate in the first place? This is how we get the red one to activate, but... So that would be blue or it would be open, but how do we get red to activate? But this is the way around we want it, because the wall goes up, blue is open, we can go through. But how do we ever get red to activate? We need it such that when the wall comes down again... Red activates, not blue. Ah, wait a minute, hold on. Can we do something very clever here? So 
So when this is down, it'll activate blue. But when it's up, we want it to activate red. Like this. But when it's down, it activates blue. Ah, that's a cool... That, what a cool concept for a level. <laughs> that one feels like it's actually quite easy to work out, mainly because there's only so few things you have to do. And it's very clear conceptually what you need. Thank you. Uh, it's, it's very clear, in my opinion, what you have to do. Um, because it's just like so... So written out. But the hard part is figuring out how to do it. <laughs> But I mean, when we name like alternator or something going up and down with a blue and red laser, of course what you have to do is have it somehow switch between blue and red activations. But that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool concept. For a level. Uh, sorry. I'm just sort of moving about, trying to find a comfortable position to sit in. Um, we do have a long way to walk till we get to level 4 now. I didn't think it would be such a huge divergence to go over... Um, to go over here to try and do that level, but hey-ho, we're over here. It's also like by level 8. I thought I was just following with a question mark, to be honest, but... These question marks are the far from each other. This must be level 8 or something. Level 4 is somewhere over here. It's quite difficult to navigate this area, I think. Yeah, that's level 8. Um, level 4 is up here. I guess the question marks we should really do sort of like afterwards rather than during. More or less because... Oh, maybe we should... Oh, I mean, my intention was to do them as we came across them. The thing is, I didn't realise quite how far away that one was, <laughs> to be honest. Sometimes a little bit more difficult than you might expect to be able to judge and distances with just the question marks. Um, so number four. I wonder I wonder how many more sort of level concepts I can even come up with with this. I don't see a particularly nearby question mark. I guess maybe this one, but I don't know what that might be. Let's solve this level first and then we'll check whatever that is out. Uh, level four. Here we go. Duality. Okay. So blue laser, literally nothing else we can do except for open it to begin with. So we'll start with that. Right. Okay. Hmm. This feels like it's going to use the same concepts we just did from the other one. Where we do this. No. Ah. Didn't quite work how I wanted it to. Um. Hmm. We need to somehow block that laser. I don't know if I've ever tried this before. What happens when we do this? And then what happens when we do this? Oh, we only choose one of the lasers to fire. And what happens if we block it? I feel like there's some there's something cooking here. I'm not sure what it is. But we do this, we block this laser. If I open that door. No, I'm not sure. But that doesn't really make sense to me. So surprisingly, like, we must be using these windows somehow. I don't think we can do anything from here yet. But we must have to set up something here first. Now, the answer is, I, the question is, I don't know what we're up here first.
But we can't grab this and walk over because it will break everything. So it's kind of like we need to do this. But then this is just the same issue sort of transposed, isn't it? I just collides in midair. This must have a very simple solution or something. I must be overthinking this. How do we ever get a red laser over here? Is we have to use both of them. There's no question about it. And but probably what we need to do is we need to set it up like this and get the blue laser, get that other connector here, we set up like that and it will close the door behind us and we can open it. That's probably the concept. Now the question is how do we get this in here without breaking everything? That's a really good question, one I don't have the answer to. But it feels like we should be able to do this and we'll pick this up. Oh. That seems like it has potential. Does that have potential? I'm not sure if this has potential. Um, there must be something obvious I'm missing here. What, what is the current problem? The current problem is we can't be on this side and adjust this thing without closing the door behind us. So whatever we do, we have to set up first with this connector and then by us putting down the second connector or doing something on this side is what triggers us to be able to walk through. Now what that is, I don't know. It does feel like it has to be something with this wall dropping might. Is, is it possible for us to make this wall drop temporarily using that? And then by it dropping, something happens. Um, I don't know what that thing happening would be, but we, the answer's not just like this or something, is it? Genuinely would be crazy if the answer was just like, that but no I don't think that's gonna work and it, as it shouldn't that'd be a very unsatisfying answer if that was the case I mean it actually does kind of look like there's a pixel here where it would work which I'm sure speedrunners have found or something I'm not sure how we can do this. Um, I, I think this level has definitely stumped me at the moment. There's not a lot we can do is a problem. But it's whatever setup we have to do is the important part. But I can't figure out what it is. Like, we don't have a lot of space. Whatever we do probably has to be set up in here or and or there. Uh... Well, that's kind of obvious. That's the only place we have to work with. We have blue laser here, red laser here. What ideally would we like to do? We'd ideally like to put a connector down on that side. Us be on that side. It somehow breaks the connect. It doesn't have to break the connection, but it probably has to, to be able to use a double connection to connect to the red laser. So how do we break a blue laser from the other side? And the only way it makes sense to me is by blocking it. But to block it, we can't block it directly from the source. Or can we? To block it from the source, we'd have to find a connection point which sort of like crossed over it. Or we use a barrier itself. Mm -mm. I, I so badly want this to do something, but it just doesn't. Not that it should, but...
That looks like it would keep itself open, to be honest. Wait, I feel like I'm overthinking this. Hold on. We do this. We open it from that side. Is it possible for us to set that up with that? I don't think so, but doesn't it feel possible? Like this is what it wants us to do. Just this, but we need to be on that side instead of this side. I don't have an answer. Uh, I, I think we're going to have to round this episode off here because I, I, I definitely cannot figure out how to solve this level yet. But that's good. It's good to good to run into an issue. So, for now, if you have been watching, thank you very much. It's been Talis Principal 2 and I've been Dear Darling. And likes, comments, subscriptions, likes, comments, subscriptions, shares, greatly appreciated. Socials, Discord down below. Hope we, hope we can see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye-bye for now.